Hi, this is Teresa Sanders from T-Books, and today we're going to explore how to pay sales tax in QuickBooks Desktop 2016. So to start, we're going to click on Vendors. You'll see Sales Tax in the drop-down menu, and then you're going to choose Sales Tax Liability in order to produce your Sales Tax Liability report. We're working in a sample company called Rock Castle Construction in QuickBooks Desktop 2016. The software has our current year as 2020, so we're going to choose the month we would like to pay sales tax by uh, tabbing over to the start date, which we're going to put in as 12-01-2020, and then the end date for the period we're paying will be 12-31-2020. This report will show us our total sales, our non-taxable sales, the taxable sales, the tax rate for each jurisdiction, and the tax that's collected, and the sales tax that's payable. These two numbers should be the same number. If not, there had to have been an uh, adjustment in one period that's prior to where we're looking now, but they match, so we're okay. Then you would take this report, and you would go ahead and complete your paper return, or go online and complete your online return. Once that's completed, you can use that information to pay your sales tax in QuickBooks. The way we would do that is click on Vendors, again go to Sales Tax, and then Pay Sales Tax. The first column is the account that you're going to be paying the sales tax from. If you have multiple bank accounts, you may want to choose a different account. In this case, we're going to use checking. The check date will be the date of the check you're writing if you're writing a manual check, or the date of the withdrawal if it's an automatic withdrawal from an online filing. We're filing online, so we're going to say that the withdrawal date is going to be 12-20-2020. Um, and the sales tax is going to be paid through 12-31-2020. Oh, I guess that would mean that our ch date would actually be paid 2020-2021. Okay. And the check number will be um, either the check number if you wrote a manual check, or if you filed online, you may want to use ACH or EFT. Or if you actually are going to print a check, you may want to click to be printed, in which case QuickBooks will print a check for you. In this case, since we're filing online, we're going to say ACH. It will be an automatic deduction from our bank account. Because this particular jurisdiction allows us to get a discount for collecting the sales tax and submitting it to them in a timely manner, we're going to want to record the discount. We're, in order to do that, you can click the Adjust button. You put in the adjustment date, which would be the date that the sales tax is paid through, which will in this case would be 12-31-2020. If you have classes, you can enter a class. You would enter an entry number if you would like it, or it will default to the next one. And then the sales tax vendor, which in this case is the state board of equalization. You can just start typing it and it will automatically come up or you can look for it in the pull down menu. The adjustment account in this, case, in this case you can find by looking in your um, pull down menu and it will be other income or in a lot of cases we use sales tax adjustment account in the other income section. You're going to reduce your sales tax by the amount of the discount and enter the discount amount that was provided to you from your taxing authority. So in this case, it would be $2.57. And the memo is sales tax adjustment, which is correct. So we click OK. This will enable us to select, ooh, nice noise. This will enable us to select the actual sales tax um, amount and make it equal to the amount of the deduction. So we are paying this amount, this amount, and the deduction in our sales tax. And that will equal the $954.77 that is shown on our online filing. So we can hit OK. That will record the amount of the sales tax for that payment in our checking account. And also will reduce the sales tax liability on the balance sheet. Thank you so much for joining me today for this uh, presentation, and I hope to be talking to you again soon.